you were expected to bump into anyone like you as soon after landing. Landing? What do you mean, landing? That thing just appeared. What is it? That's what I like, an inquiring mind. Care to take a look around inside my TARDOS? Look around? <laughs> that won't take long. That box isn't big enough for a star badger. Don't bet on it. Come inside, it won't bite you, unlike a staff badger. I was warned about Purbys inviting me into their cars. First one I've met who can't even afford a car. Got to make do with a big blue box. It's up to you, but it could be interesting. Well, maybe just a quick peek. By the way, I'm Dr. Rue. What's your name? Tara. Now, are we going in or what? This is impossible. It's... Bigger on the inside than it is on the outside? Yeah, yeah, it is. They all say that, you know. Oh, who? All the girls who come in here. A lot of them stay, you know. All the girls, eh? You really are more than a little bit dodgy, aren't you? Not as dodgy as Doctor Who, the prat with his own TV series. Doctor Who? But that's just fiction, isn't it? No way. Doctor Who's a Time Lord, same as me. But our mutual superior, Big Griff, is getting very, very annoyed. And that's because Doctor Who and the BBC keep coming out with all those stupid series. There are a load of old cobblers just written to make Doctor Who look good. Brave? Ha! I've seen the little wimp run a mile from a drunken Sontaran. And if he came up against a real Cyberman, he'd drown in his own sweat. And if Doctor Who gets up Big Griff's nose much more, he'll probably be made to say three million hail Gallifreys and get moved to another universe. Who's Big Griff? Big Griff Richard is the Time Overlord for this universe. Time Overlord? Yeah, the Time Overlord is in charge of the Time Lords, and contrary to what Doctor Who says about him being the only Time Lord left, there are still over 30 of us Time Lords assigned to this universe. But I thought there was only one universe with lots of galaxies and things in it. Really? Nah, there's an infinite number of universes, all with their own galaxies and suns and planets and things. They are being born and dying all the time. This universe will probably last another 30 or 40 billion years with a bit of luck. Then it'll die and another will take its place. Happens all the time. Nothing really changes much. That stuff's beyond me. Do you live in the Tartars or what? Of course I do. I stay in one of the hotels through there. You mean there's more of the Tartars through there? <laughs> you bet your flame and life there is. All serviced and operated by the Tartars robots. Life's good in the Tartars. It's just when we have to go outside and do some work it gets a bit difficult. Go on, take a look round while I try and fix this one.